Hey, an Orsini Insectoid. Cool. I'm there, dude. Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're gonna have a look at this Orsini set. Outer space. And uh, Orsini does not give names to their sets. Pilot. Although I don't know why it would need a pilot. Uh, some of the listings for this on, on Amazon listed as a, um, uh, what did they say? Scientific probe or something like that. Why does it have laser cannons? Anyway, number 25460, 175 pieces. We're going to check out this insectoid. Just a few moments here. And here he is. And we do get a pilot minifigure with this set. I set him back here. Uh, there's no other place for him to sit. And he gets a briefcase of some sort. Okay. I'll have a look at that and our minifigure in a moment. Not sure why we get, we get a minifigure with a scientific probe, a remote controlled, remote operated uh, ROV. Um, there's quite a bit of, well, not quite a bit, but some piece count padding. Uh, throughout the, the build of this uh, insectoid here. Um, where to start? Well, for starters we get st stickers that do not match the uh, color of the, the green color. It's a different color of green. And on the tail there So, does this look like what you're selling me? Ripped off again. All office furniture over 50% off. Yeah. This picture, like other Ossini pictures, has been doctored. Or maybe it's the prototype. Maybe they, maybe they got it right on the prototype. Anyway, here, and here are the stickers in a different shade of green and this is two pieces you'd think it'd just be one slopey slope that that would be the logical thing to do but uh... nope it's two separate parts put side by side so out came the scissors i sliced the sticker in half so that i can take it apart later and then up here well, you think that would be just one piece. Wrong again. So out came the stickers and I sliced that one in half. And we got a sticker there. That's the only one that that goes on a single part. And we got this these parts in the back with a sticker covering them. So out came the scissors sliced my sticker in half and we got some piece count padding back here with the uh, we got this plate here and then the clippy clips are there and then we got some little squares block textile not sure what's up with that. And then this part is the hinge. And some of these hinges just do not work correctly. Um, it's, it's not even on there all the way. I don't know what to do here. It's a, it's a double hinge. 
but it seems to hold um, and then on the other side we got some some of those annoying little squares in there and then they top it off well you'd think you just top it off with one of these a, a six six by two but no we're topping it off with a, a two by three plate and then two of these one by three plates what's that about and then we then we top that off with our our halves of this uh, that form this curvy worvy part so have a look at the tail got some stickers and another this one looks like it's coming apart well it, it, I'm tugging and it's not it looks like it's coming apart but it's not these joints are just weird so that's the tail plug down to a little bar in the back there it's different from Lego bars Lego bars have a thicker part where the bar is connected and I have this here it has to be yeah, down like that then we got our legs and uh, four of the legs are attached on little clippy clips onto these uh, these bars that stick up and the clippy clips are really thin don't have much meat on them that they come off real easy we got more of these odd uh, hinge pieces it looks like it's falling apart it did yeah and it's really difficult to get these parts I don't know if I'm just not doing it right or I just don't know so we get four of these and that that can that can fall off pretty easily that's you try to stand them up it's just gonna collapse the it's just gonna collapse the leg and the middle leg is attached on these uh, weird joints there and so are the wings and on the wings we do have a decently sized plate underneath and then this little square put here for no reason and then in silver we got all these one by three plates put here why don't you just use some two by threes piece count padding and then put another one on top for pretty much no reason and these little decorations here those are the wings I'm having difficulty with my limbs this one's all messed up this one it just does not not the best design not the best design and there's his head I do like these uh, transparent parts there in dark blue I guess these are antennas and the antennae there's a sticker there and that's connected on those weird uh, Weird, weird hinge pieces. And there's a look at the underside. Is 
think there's some piece count padding on the inside infrastructure then we got these uh, cannons certainly look like cannons to me although could be some scientific uh, information gathering device I don't know it's on a hinge and it comes off yeah this hinge has a uh, these are uh, these are taller than than a plate high and each half has this this bar running through it and there's a lot of resistance on it, it needs to be worn down there's our um, cannons did I mess this up And more squares, green ones this time. Why not just use a one by two uh, plate? And this this thing looks this little slopey slope looks like it's out of alignment, or maybe it's the other one. So not all slopey slopes are made alike. One of them could be out of alignment not lined up correctly to go flush with the pieces around it. Can I get this back on here? Let's see, what else? Um, well, that's our Ossini Insectoid for what it's worth. Not quite as bad as other sets. But that's not saying much because there's no there's no pilot's cabin for our guy to fit into and uh, cause trouble with uh, not being able to fit into it or not being able to fit into it quite right. This is just like a model of a uh, uh, an ROV, remote operated vehicle. Let's have a quick look at our minifigure. Here is one of our daring space pilots with a print on his body there, and he gets the weird clippy clip uh, hands. Not sure what's up with that. Those are weird. Why don't you just make them like a regular Lego minifigure? Everything else about him is like a regular Lego minifigure. Yep, looks like it to me. I guess this shiny silver helmet. So, and that is much like a best lock head from 2000s. Yep. Even down to the dark skin tone. I've seen he takes a lot of best lock parts and stuff. Uh, this is like a best lock minifigure from the 2000s. He comes already assembled like this. You just have to straighten out his hands and give him his helmet. And then he comes with this briefcase. What is he doing with a briefcase? Came like this. I guess you're supposed to uh, assemble it and then not open it. Briefcase. Let's 
So there is our insectoid. It's it's a mess of limbs that don't work right, and, uh, and weird weird joints that don't work quite right. Not quite as bad as other Rossini sets, um, but uh, still got some some weirdness to it. And that's high quality and high performance. The excellent design, special for your children. The all exciting new set will give you infinite pleasure. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to take inspiration from this and uh, build a Lego insectoid for my Galaxy Squad insectoids. Maybe a vehicle for one of my insectoid characters to uh, tool around in. I have plenty of uh, insectoid animal characters and stuff. Don't really need a, a big one like this. Uh, some kind of vehicle. It's not terrible. The limbs could be better, so that it can actually stand stand up on it. As it as it is, I set him down, and he, he lands mostly on his base there, on his the bottom of his body. So that is a quick look at this uh, insectoid by Orsini. Outer space. Thank you for watching.